Yo, what is going on guys? As you can see here, we have Mutant Advancement on. And I finally decided on which mutant I'm going to take to rank 4. I think I decided fully yesterday. Been stewing on this for days, man. Really, really thinking about this. It's a big decision. Um, so we're going to talk about my thought process, what I'm thinking. And then we're going to pull the trigger. Uh, there's no level up on, but Mutant Advancement is close enough. So... First of all, why are we rank 4 a mutant specifically? Because if I wasn't forced to, that probably wouldn't have been my next class that I would be focusing on. But we got this bad boy right here from 100%ing Act 8, Chapter 1, Day 1. So, now we get another rank 4. I'm currently at, I think, 8? Is it? Or no, 9. I think I'm at 9 right now, actually. Yeah, let me double check here. So yeah, two, four, six. Yeah, we're at nine rank fours right now. Really good bunch. But as you can see, some classes are lacking, and mutant is one of them. We only have one in mutant, one in skill, and one in mystic. So uh, those classes specifically do need another rank four. So at least you know I'm, I'm glad it was one of those classes that we got the rank four gem for. And so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the mutant roster. So the mutant roster is really good. This is probably my best class actually. Um, the, there's only like a couple champs I'm missing here. I'm missing the new, the new, uh, Psylocke, you know, her Captain Britain, Betsy Bardock or whatever. She's, she's cool. I don't think I would have ranked for her if I had her though. So that, that's okay. Emma, dude, I'm a big fan of Emma, of Emma Frost. Um, honestly, if I had her, she would have been in consideration. Uh, don't have gold pool or platinum pool or Deadpool X-Force. Probably wouldn't consider them. But Iceman, dude, I was thinking about Iceman. He, he, he is literally the coolest champ in the game. Like, you cannot deny that he's the coolest champ in the game. Because he just is. Um, dude, he's, he's as cold as they get. Um, and if I had a SIG, two, SIG 200 rank 3 Iceman, I would rank for him. I would just do it. I totally would. I totally would. But I don't even have him. So he's not even in this conversation. Why are we even talking about him? I don't know. Um, Omega Red is another one that I do have but not awakened and you know again if i had a rank 3 sig 200 omega red right now i'd probably take him up but an unduped one nah 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 no no thanks um because i'd have to give him a generic awakening gem and i'm just not comfortable doing that um uh, the next one champ i was really really thinking about i i came close to pulling the trigger on this one bishop i almost pulled the trigger on bishop man um He's unduped, but like it doesn't matter. I was I was honestly this close to just taking him to rank four and not even like uploading a video on it for a while and just having him as a menace in my deck. Like I wouldn't have advertised that he's ranked four and he probably wouldn't have looked ranked four in my deck because he's unawakened. So he'd probably, you know, fly under the radar. I was really tempted to do bishop and he's a monster on attack too. Uh, I've seen a couple rank four bishops in battlegrounds and I think it's a really good idea. But I decided to not pull the trigger on it. If he was Awakened Man, also, like, I just don't really want to take up an Unawakened Champ. And when I take up a Champ Rank 4, you know, I want to make a video on it. That's way more fun. I want to make content. Use the Champ, you know? So, it'd be a sneaky choice, but nah. Magneto is another one I was thinking, dude. Like, really, I, we all know Magneto does not need Rank 4. We all know that. But... Using him against the Dragon Man in Eternity of Pain, I was having so much fun. I was having so much fun. And, like, I think Magneto would be a menace in Battlegrounds at rank 4 as a defender. Because he's just, he's chunky. He's ch he's a chunky monkey, and he's got those unstoppables on his heavies. You know, if you can catch your opponent with metal champions too, you can cuck them. Which I've done before. It's pretty funny. Um, but... Uh, you know, he doesn't need rank 4 on offense, and I think there's just better champs. And then Archangel, I just, I've been loving my rank 3 Archangel, but again, I really don't think he needs rank 4. I've, I've been crushing people in Battlegrounds with him at rank 3. I love him, but I don't think I need him at rank 4. It would be cool, but I feel like it would just be a little bit overkill. So then we get to, like, the main picks. Um, there's... So there's really two categories now, like really good all around champs, APOC, he's like, it's, he was really in contention, uh, really, really thinking APOC, he's, we all know how good APOC is, man, um, 
he is incredible. One of the best mutant champs in the game. He does so much for the class. I think the only champ better than him in this class is, is Kitty. And she's already at rank 4. But there's a lot of rank 4 Apox out there. And I just don't think I need one right now. I do want to have a rank 4 Apoch one day. I also want to have a rank 4 Hercules one day. But those days aren't going to be coming for a while. I have bigger priorities I need to focus on first. And that's Battlegrounds. Defense. I need my defense to be monstrous. I want people to be scared when they see my deck. When they see these ranked up scary defenders. I want them to be quaking in their boots. That's what I want. That's what I want my deck to be so scary. That's what I'm going for now. So it comes down to some really annoying mutants to fight. We got Sauron. We got Toad. We got Domino. We got Weapon X. And Havoc. Kind of. I was really thinking about Havoc. I really like Havoc, dude. I think Havoc is so cool. Um, I'm just I'm just not a big enough fan to rank for him. I'm a big fan, but I'm not that big of a fan. So we're not doing Havoc. So it comes down to those main four. Toad, Sauron, Weapon X, and Domino. Now, I want to do one of these four. All four are super good defenders in Battlegrounds. And some of them are really good attackers as well. So if that I can get that duality... Or battlegrounds that's ideal so I, you know weapon x he's a big one you know weapon flex this dude is so sick i uh, got him from doing legend runs in act six he's such a sick champ um but he does have a lot of main counters archangel magneto warlock these are very common champions in most battleground decks and for the most part like weapon x hasn't won me a ton at rank three I don't even really feel confident putting him down most times because my opponent typically always has like a really good counter on hand and I just don't feel like like banking on them messing up against Weapon X with an ideal counter. If you have a really good counter, it's it's unlikely, you know? So, didn't really want to go Weapon X. Um, same, so Toad, to Toad's really great, but I don't love him on attack. I really don't. A lot of other people do. I don't. Uh, just not my cup of tea. Not every champ is. I would leave him at rank 3. So then it comes down to Sauron and Domino. He needs two. And I think Sauron is such a menace defensively. He can really, really trip people up. Um, and he can't be Archangeled, which is huge. Um, but he just, he's not, I don't want to use him on attack. So it goes down to Domino, guys. Domino is going to be the champ that I rank 4. Um, I've already been giving her six stones. I have been for a while. Uh, a couple seasons ago, I was assigned her on defense, and I just gave her all the mutant six stones I had. Uh, and I have 69 more six stones to give her. She's at 79 right now. I think it's like 148. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna sig her up, and then we're gonna take her to to rank four. Man, we're gonna do it. So all my six stones right now. I have a choice right now of really what to do with my six stones, and it's either invest them in powerful defenders or battlegrounds like domino like korg or save them for prestige but my prestige is pretty good the only two champions that i'm going to be ranking for prestige are quicksilver and the iron doom and i don't even have them right now so i'm not going to be saving six stones you know i'm going to be using them for battlegrounds and uh yeah, I'm not too worried about my prestige is pretty decent, and I'm just I'm not worrying about it until I at least get one of those champs. You know, then I can start focusing and allocating all six stones to that champ. But I don't even have them, so why worry about it? Okay, guys, so here we go. All that long deliberation, it, it took me. To, I was doing on this for days, guys. It, it took a while to really come to this conclusion, but it's the one that I came to. So there we go. Domino is now rank four. Let's go, man. Let's go. She is gonna be a freaking menace in battlegrounds i think domino is one of the top three fish defenders in the game to fight against so i think she really is worth investing in sig stones rank up materials and everything in between so let's go ahead and do that and i'm also thinking about taking up my next rank fours the other defenders that i think are in that top three category which I'm also going to be making a Battlegrounds tier list this month. So we'll be talking more about some of the top defenders, what I think, in videos like that. 
Um, but for now, let's just focus on getting Domino up all the way. Okay, and there we go. Rank 4, level 55 Domino. She's, she's definitely not going to be like a, a hidden in my deck, like how that Bishop strategy would have been. But that's fine. Uh, I'm totally fine flaunting off my rank 4 Domino. Uh, and if people want to ban her, that's fine too. Go ahead. Go ahead, that'll consume one of their bans. That's totally fine by me. Um, cause I'm sick and tired of my gallon being banned every single time. Um, hey! You're ruining the video. We're taking Domino to rank 4. Aren't you excited? Come here. Come here. I know you're excited. It's Domino. Right? Okay, guys. I'll be right back for some awesome gameplay. Alright, guys. We are back. Uh, Ace is a little guard dog, so as soon as he hears someone... He goes into guard mode. But uh, I found a path here. We're in Act 8, Chapter 1. This is, you know, very relevant, very new content. We have these uh, unarmed nodes. So these are replacing the whole Paradox stuff. And it's so much better. So this one here, uh, once we disable the node, they're going to take 600% more damage from heavy attacks. And as you guys all know, the Flaming Trinity, as I believe Seton coined it back in the day, of domino um masakre and red hulk here we're going to be getting incinerates on our heavies and i'm pretty sure it's based off the damage it deals so i think this could be nuts plus we have a synergy with deadpool um so we can get some more damage didn't even I, I didn't even mean for that synergy i was just you know nick fury regen so all right this is going to be crazy so the way to striking the defender executing a heavy attack Okay, so we just have to punish a heavy attack, I believe. And then we can go for heavies of our own. Yeah, okay, so now we drop this. Oh my. Um, I, I, was, I was expecting good results, but I wasn't expecting a nine second fight. Wow. God. I, that makes me really happy with this rank up, man. That makes me really happy with this rank up. You guys have no idea. That's 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 good to see. That's uh that's uh that's good to see. <laughs> Look at that DOT, man. Holy smokes, dude! It's like forty-two thousand per tick. Jeez. Okay, this next one we got a Mephisto, so Buddy's obviously immune to incinerate. Not sure how this one's gonna go. Let's let's see. Uh, our heavy should still hit hard itself, so... Let's see. Uh, 13%. We got a crit. Oh yeah, there we go. That did a lot. It's like a, almost a 69k crit. Okay. Come here, buddy. Should we be able to get two more heavies off? Yeah, one more. One more. Oh no, he threw a special. You suck. Okay, well, special two. Hello? Alright, crit bleed. Nice. That's good. Gotta wait for the node to go on cool down here. Okay, no. We gotta bait his heavy first. There we go. Now, we drop ours. Oh, not enough. Okay, buddy. Can you... Come here. Alright. There we go. I thought he was gonna throw another special. So that's obviously, they kind of put that fight there to roadblock Domino, did they? They probably did. They're like, yeah, we should probably throw an Incinerate Immune Champ on this path. They probably knew. Actually, yeah, Red Goblin is Incinerate Immune as well. Isn't he? So yeah, they, they kabam, knew what they were doing. They knew Domino would be rinsing this. Alright, but uh, Green got we have Class Disadvantage here, but that's fine. As long as he's not Incinerate Immune, <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, it's, it's all good. 13k per tick. So yeah, the damage is based off, like, how much the hits do. So if we get two crits, it's gonna tick for an absurd amount. Alright, Red Goblin. Let's try this fight here. Man, I, I'm gonna have to try Domino on some of the other weapon lanes, too. The special 2 and special 1, maybe, as well. That could, could get crazy. This is, this is already 
beyond crazy. <laughs> With heavies. Oh no. Oh <laughs> uh, well. He hit me with his heavy, that's only fair. I'm about to hit him with a bunch of fires. No crits on that one. Come on, give me a crit, baby. Nice, 100k crit. 100k crit again. Aw, oh, man. Okay, let's go for... Other heavy. Nice. And pop this, it should kill him, right? No, but those bleeds sure will. After we take all that block damage, of course. Oh my god, dude. This this path is fun. <laughs> She's just rinsing it. Alright, one more fight. We got a Dormammu here who should be incinerate immune, but is not. So we will be able to do some crazy stuff here. This should be a pretty quick fight. Alright, let's just bait a heavy. Right now we parry heavy. Eh, there's 36k incinerate. <laughs> we don't even need the incinerate. <laughs> the last one. Okay. Um, I am gonna go find a special two one, and then I'll be back because I want to see that next. All right, guys, we're back in another Act Eight quest, and this fight is gonna be fun. We're gonna be trying to one shot this Heimdall with one special two. Uh, you've got this weapon node of 500,000 health, so half a milli here. And all we gotta do is build our special two. Then we parry. That's going to disable the weapon node. And uh, it's going to go ahead. Give us 400% special attack damage. I think it's 400%. So, it's, uh, it's gonna be a lot of damage. Let's wait, so it's... Okay, parry. That's that's not a parry. Come on, come on. Big crits, big crits. There we go. The second it did 400. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was beautiful. All right, guys. We're going <laughs> to gotta go find some more gameplay. Hopefully something that one Domino can't just kill in one shot. All right, guys. I have three more fights for you with the shiny new rank 4 Domino. This first one here is another fight in Act 8. Uh, this path is basically the new version of the... It's like a less extreme version of Do You Bleed. You know, before Do You Bleed, bleed damage is the only way to deal damage, that and block damage, which is really silly compared to all the other nodes. There is, you know, there's ones for poison with you know, acid wash, like um, pleasure to burn for incinerate. Whereas those nodes, you know, it's they take 90% less damage without that specific debuff applied to them, or something like that, you know? You just have to have it applied, then you can deal regular damage. So, it's finally good that we got a bleed one um, introduced to us in Act 8. That was really actually cool to see. The bleed is the only one that was, like, weird and different, so... That's great. Uh, but yeah, we need to get some bleeds on this uh, Black Widow, so I'm gonna go ahead, drop a special 3, and this is gonna put a fat bleed on her. It's uh, ticking for 13 thousand um yeah that that's a fat bleed bro <laughs> that is a, a fat bleed that is that is nice to see i was trying to rush back to the special one to uh to refresh it wasn't quite able to do that on this fight but uh, we are gonna do that on another fight which we'll get to in a little bit um but yeah man domino it feels really good to have her at such a high level and play around with her it's it's really fun too and i feel like she she's gonna be like a menace in battle rounds on on defense right um if my opponent you know doesn't have like a nimrod or something to, to just blitz her down but let's say i draft her and then you know they do get a nimrod or something then i can still use her on offense though and she like in the right metas she is just gonna nuke fights man like it's gonna be great so here I just wanted to show you, this is literally my very first run at Winter Soldier. I think I got a really lucky one, or maybe Rank 4 Domino is just really powerful. But this was my first run at this uh, Winter Soldier. I got some synergies. There's a new synergy with Betty Bardock, that new mutant. And it is incredible for Domino. You can see we can basically get a, a precision buff. So it greatly increases our crit rate. So you see that special 2, we got crits. So it really takes away some of that RNG aspect of playing Domino, which... 
I love. That's my biggest gripe about Domino is how you know RNG based she is. I really like that synergy. Really big fan of that synergy. Gonna be using it more when I'm running Domino offensively, probably. Um, but yeah, we nuked down Winter Soldier, dude. 38 seconds. 38 seconds. Very first attempt. Not bad. You know, not bad. Um, so now we're gonna run into Labyrinth of Legends. See how she deals with like a, a bigger health pool. We got 1.5 million health on this Red Hulk. And we're gonna be going for special twos on this fight. Uh, the thing about Domino is, you know, it's a little orange. I think this was my this was my second attempt on Red Hulk. The first attempt, I just wasn't triggering Lucky when I got to two bars. So I ended up going for special threes and I still wasn't triggering Lucky. So it just kind of sucked. Uh, the first attempt was, was rough. I didn't even take that. I ended up dying towards the end too. Uh, so this was a second run. So second run, first special two, we hit the damage cap. So I was like, okay, you know, not a bad start. Not a bad start. Uh, not, not the best start. We didn't get any, you know, crazy critical bleeds ticking, but yeah, we'll, damage cap hit. We'll, we'll, we'll take that. So next special two, we are going to get some fat bleeds. And then uh, the special one, we'll go ahead and refresh those critical bleeds. So here there's one critical bleed. There's two critical bleeds. Uh, another damage cap. And yeah, he has two critical bleed stacks on him right now. So I'm racing, racing to my special one. And we, we saved ones. And so now we have two bleeds and it's still critical. So that's taken for a lot of damage. And here he hits with a combo, but that's good. That's actually very nice of him because it's going to let us get to another special one. And again, refresh those bleeds. So now we got four stacks of bleed. This is the first time I've ever done that with domino maintain those bleeds through two special one cycles i i've never done that before granted i really don't play domino much so it's, you know, it's not like that big of a thing but it's definitely the first time i've ever done it and it felt really good to like just weave that rotation in you know with domino so felt really nice and it also felt like worthwhile damage like those bleeds were putting in work i think domino was the first champ to ever have critical damage over time effects I'm not mistaken uh, and right there we just broke the damage cap with like a 91,000 crit that was pretty lit and yeah I got some more bleeds I don't think these ones are critical but they're still doing some damage and we were able to refresh them now it looks like they are critical ticking for like 6,000 um, uh, again really nice damage and here I'm just going for it he's at he's at a special three uh, we get a lucky stun right there, and then one more combo finishes him off. Uh, as long as the luck's in your favor, man. Domino, like, best champ in the game. If the luck is in your favor, it's, it's crazy, man. And and best defender, too. Again, if luck goes your way. Um, and the higher the sig, the more chance luck will go your way with her being on defense. So I'm definitely going to get her to sig 200. Just need 52 more stones. I think we're getting, like, 30 from Eternity of Pain. Should be getting some from Battlegrounds 2 at the end of the season, I hope. So, she'll be sig 200 soon enough. Man, I really wish there was an item to, like, transfer sig stones. Because here, this is my, my current rank 4 roster. We're at uh, 10 rank 4s now. Monumental amount of rank 4s. That's, that's a third of my deck in Battlegrounds is now rank 4s. That's awesome. That is awesome, dude. Um, It's great. But, uh, yeah, like, there's, there's a couple champions... Mainly, no, mainly just one champion here that I wish I could take Sig Stones out of, and that's Human Torch. He was my second rank four, so I gave him so many Sig Stones at the time. I took him to 200. But now, oh, those I regret those Sig Stones. If I could just, a Sig Stone swapper. Oh, man, I'd swap from Torch, give to, give to Domino, get her to max. Probably give some to Nick Fury as well. Give some to, probably try to get Gallon to max too. Um... But yeah, guys, that, that is going to do it for this Rank 4 video. Domino is going to be crazy in Battlegrounds. Very excited to be using her in future tournaments and climbing the ranks. She's going to be good in every single meta. So she'll just become a staple of my deck, which uh, I'm looking forward to. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this Rank 4 Domino video. That's why I decided to use my 3-4 Mutant Gem on. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more content. We're less than 3,000 subscribers away now from 100k. Which is just crazy. Thank you guys for all the continued support. We're going to get there soon. You guys are the best. Peace out.